China just made a major move in hypersonic weapons technology, testing a missile that could potentially fly from China to the US in under two hours. That's too fast for any existing defense system on Earth to stop. Sounds like science fiction? Not anymore. China has just pulled off something that could change the future of warfare and possibly even aviation forever. China successfully tested a next generation hypersonic vehicle called Faqian 2. And it's not just about speed, it's about smarter engines, reusable designs, and a major leap in aerospace technology that most countries are still racing to catch up with. The Chinese test marked a major milestone in hypersonic propulsion. This wasn't just a test of speed. It was a full demonstration of next-generation engine tech called RBCC, rocket-based combined cycle. China combined a rocket engine with a ramjet, which is an air-breathing engine, into a single integrated system known as an RBCC. This hybrid setup allows the vehicle to launch like a traditional rocket, using onboard fuel and oxidizer to generate powerful thrust during takeoff. But once it's moving fast enough through the atmosphere, it switches to ramjet mode, where it draws in oxygen from the air instead of carrying it on board. This is a game changer because traditional rockets need to carry both fuel and oxidizer, making them heavy and less efficient. By using atmospheric oxygen during part of the flight, this system reduces weight, saves fuel, and extends range and speed, perfect for high-speed, long-distance missions like hypersonic weapons or future space planes. This technology may seem simple, but in practice, it's highly complex. One of the toughest challenges in RBCC engines is achieving a smooth transition between rocket mode and ramjet mode. But Fission 2 managed to pull it off seamlessly, marking a major breakthrough in hypersonic propulsion. Fation 2 works in different modes at different stages. At launch, it works like every rocket by burning fuel and oxidizer carried on board. Once the vehicle is traveling fast enough within the atmosphere, the engine switches to ramjet mode using oxygen from the surrounding air. As the vehicle climbs higher into thin air or near space, oxygen becomes too scarce for ramjets to work. At this point, the engine switches back to rocket mode using onboard oxidizer again. Instead of using cryogenic fuels like liquid hydrogen, Fission 2 uses kerosene and hydrogen peroxide. This combo is cheaper, easier to store, and works great at high altitudes. The Fission 2 can adjust its airflow based on speed, is capable of autonomous flight with a variable angle of attack, allowing it to control its own trajectory mid-flight, and can perform smooth, rapid speed changes without losing stability. Despite the successful test, Fission 2 is still in the experimental stage. However, in the future, it could pave the way for hypersonic reconnaissance drones, reusable military platforms, and even civilian hypersonic transport. China already possesses a vast arsenal of hypersonic weapons, but Fation 2 takes it to the next level. Precision, efficiency, and reusability. This test signals that China isn't just building missiles, it is building futuristic flight platforms. Fation 2 proves China can build next-generation hypersonic vehicles that are cheaper, faster, and potentially reusable. That's a game-changer for military tech and possibly for the future of global transportation.